Today, I am at the Grand Floridian because the Enchanted Rose opened up, which is the new bar concept that replaced Meisner's. And if there's a new bar, I need to check it out. Let's go do this. If you remember, the band used to be right here, but now they have all this extra seating, and the band's just doing their thing right down there, which is pretty awesome as well. I'm already excited. Look how pretty it is. Like, look at this little mural they have here. Unbelievable. The views are spectacular. Can you imagine just hanging out here, watching the band? They also have cocktail servers, and then it gets a little bit dark and gloomy inside. Oh, wow. They really opened it up in here. Look at this, though. Wow, so fancy. I love it. Look at that fireplace as well. Just the detail in here. Unbelievable. It looks like it's split up between two different rooms. So this is one room and I, I feel like this was the size of Meisner's. And now they actually just blew out the walls and expanded it so much. So we're gonna go on the other side now, past this beautiful mural again, and take a peek in here. Wow, one of the best looking bars on Disney property, I definitely can say that. Look at the pillars, they even have them with a little nifty design on them. And the seating, these look like they're comfy chairs. Oh yeah, good back support. And what a treat, they actually have an outdoor seating area too, that's new. I'm gonna see if I can open this door. Oh wow. Look at that view. Pretty awesome. They do have a maximum occupancy of 47 people, which is a little low, but plenty of room to go around. I'll probably take a seat at the bar because I want to test out these chairs, but I actually I want to test out all the chairs, so I'm going to be moving around quite a bit. Very good chairs. Very good support. Look at the coasters. Wow, I want to keep one. Now let's take a peek inside this menu. Very fancy menu. Ooh. Wow, lots of good stuff. And they even have food. Truffle fries, octopus. Wow. I like it. Wow. This is a lot more than I thought. Looking at most of the drinks, the Island Rose and the uh, Floral Bitter Beauty is some of their more signature uh, cocktails and it even says featured cocktails, but they have some special things like a tail of table side cocktails and you can actually order these drinks and it comes with kind of a little show they bring it over to you i'm excited to see what it is but i picked the love one it's 21 dollars gray goose vodka pavan liqueur pear lemon twinnings of london wow this seems like it's going to be a fancy drink i'm excited to see what's being presented to me It's super loud in here. Uh, it's a very busy bar because it just opened, so it's very popular. But they're gonna bring my drink over cart side, and it's gonna be very fancy. $21 for this drink. While we wait for the drink, let's take a second to look up because that is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, here it comes. Look at that fanciness. I didn't
didn't expect this. Did not expect this. Mary, thank you. This is pretty awesome. The gift of love. The gift of love. Ah. Some ice. And we have the gift of seeing somebody of who they truly are. Seeing somebody for who they truly are. Seeing somebody who they truly are. Huh? Gift of thoughts. The story of Belle and Beast, they, they had a love story. And Beast captured Belle, but he finally let her go. And so they have no strings attached. He let her go back to her family because he truly loved her. And that's where the concept comes from. Very cool. No strings attached. In the end, she returned home. And this creates our love. That's love. This is our love. Fantastic. I'm going to present this gift to you. Oh, well, thank you. You are very welcome. Go right there. Thank you. I've never had a drink served to me like that. Wow. Pretty awesome. It was presented very fancy and very fun, but I think the question is, is what does it taste like? Wow. That is delicious. Seriously delicious. I left my seat at the bar because I wanted to come over here and like I said, I want to try out the seats and take in the atmosphere because I think a bar is a bar, but a bar's atmosphere is what makes it awesome. And look at it in here. Pretty chandeliers, nice wood dropping, fancy chairs. Very fancy chairs and very sturdy. I can say that I like this chair better than the bar stools and it's a little bit nicer to hang out in here, a little bit quieter. If you notice, it was very loud in the bar area. There's a lot of people in there and in here, there's only about like 15, 20 people and a couple of chairs. So that makes it a little bit, a little bit quieter. But I also want to go over to the library, which is over on this side and see how it is over here. Oh wow, a lot quieter over here. Look at that chair. Much better. I like the yellow chairs a lot. And you get the bonus of the band music playing. I like it. Overall, the atmosphere in the library is fantastic. Way quieter and very relaxed over here. And if you want to just enjoy the Grand Floridian, you can always come out here and just sit down and listen to the band. It's always good to point out the hours, 1 p.m. to 12 a.m. One last place is outside. Look at that, very comfy. So for outside, I can dig this. I have to say though, this might be my favorite spot to sit down and relax because I mean, it's outside, it's beautiful, the chairs are very comfortable, but I just like the ambience of the library room. That was the room on the other side of the bar. It was very quiet, the fireplace with the candles in it. That's probably my favorite, hands down, library room. 
I always fall victim though because I don't know if I'm really enjoying a drink or because I paid a lot of money for the drink, does it make it feel like it's even better? So $21 for this drink, I absolutely love it. I think it's phenomenal and I love the way they present it. On the little card, they tell you a little story, but is it $21 drink? Yep, it is that good. This is the drink that I got, a tale of tableside cocktails, and it's the love version, but they also have an envy version, which I think is pretty awesome. I, I obviously cannot afford both of these drinks tonight, but the envy one sounds good. Look at that, green with envy, strong and bitter. And then we have gift with thought, truly seeing someone and no strings attached. I'm happy I went with the loved one first, but I'll be back, Envy. I'll be back. So the only thing that I thought was a little strange was the rose petal inside the drink. It just felt weird going down my throat. But never more. Now I'm going to eat the rose petal. I wonder what it tastes like. Tastes like a plant. I ran back out to the lobby because I heard they were playing I Want to Be Like You from The Jungle Book and that's one of my favorite shows. that I think I am done with today. I had a great time inside the Enchanted Rose. The drink was phenomenal and I got to enjoy some great music here at the Grand Floridian. Overall, what a great night. Well, that's all I'm going to say. What a great night. But one last thing before I go. While I was here, I did run into my good friend Wayne and his wife and they are visiting and they decided to bring me a new hat. A hat from Disneyland Paris. I'm so excited. Look at this. Beautiful. And it even has Jack Skellington on it. Ah! So, we're gonna change hats. Whoop! And a bottle. Whoop! I like it. I like it a lot. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye! And I would do anything for love. But I won't do that No, I won't do that